All right, guys, here to introduce to you the Peaks Gator. Um, I've been using these for a little over a year now, and they've quickly become the best gator I've used. With the way I hike, I blow through gators like crazy, and I've, I've used a number of them over the years. Within a month, month and a half, I've either ripped the strap, ripped some part of the gator, or buckles come loose, and uh, won't fasten anymore. So I'm gonna break down some of the awesome features these ones offer, and then also show you the full setup, how to put them on, how to adjust them, and everything like that. So without further ado, let's get set up. There they are, pretty sweet, clean looking gaiters. I mean, I'm wearing black pants, so might be hard to tell, but they cut off right here, right under, under the knee. They hug nice and tight to the leg. Obviously, that's the point of a gaiter to keep brush, debris, snow, dust, dirt, mud, whatever uh, the wilderness throws at you out of your pants. But they're also not too tight that you feel constricted or anything like that. That's also why it's important to get the correct size. I'm running a medium large. They have a size guide on their website to make sure you get the correct fit. Going into the setup of your gator, this is extremely important and I see a lot of people actually fail with the general setup of your gator. You wanna make sure the buckle goes on the outside of your foot. If that's your left foot, you want the buckle on the outside of your left foot, not on the inside. You want the buckle on the outside of your right foot for your right side. That is crucial because that's gonna a, prevent those buckles from coming undone, keep for the longevity of the buckle, and the overall function of the gaiter. With the Peaks gaiters, as you go to slide them on, you wanna make sure that you first fasten the front Velcro of the gaiter. This is gonna get the gaiter into the correct position. You're gonna bring your Kevlar strap underneath your boot and then bring it through the buckle until tight. And that way there's no gaps, anything loose. That strap hugs the, the outside of your boot wraps around underneath, no gaps, feed it through the buckle, fasten it, and then up through your little straps to keep your yellow Kevlar strap out of the way. At this point, the gator should be pretty snug to your foot. Now all you gotta do is secure that all the way up to your knee. Then we move to one of my favorite parts that this gator has to offer. So this gator is built with a little latch system that you can see here, this little metal loop. That's what's gonna essentially keep your gator from loosening as you hike. We've all been there when you're hiking and three or four times during your hike that upper strap comes undone and you have to sit there and try to refasten it, retighten it. This is going to keep the top of your gaiter held tight and also it's going to keep that strap from twisting on the inside of the gaiter. I'm sure you've had that happen too where the strap on the inside of your gaiter has twisted and then as you go to tighten it you cannot cinch it down because that strap is twisted. Well this is going to keep your strap tight and straight so that as you fasten it you can cinch it right down to the top of your leg and then lock it into place and you now have your gaiter fully set up. For me gaiters are something I'll wear usually all year long. Uh, a gator this height, I'm usually running from end of August all the way into May. I need to wear them most of the year, whether it's because of brush, snow, cactus, rocks, water, anything like that. Well guys, I hope that helped you out. If you're in the market for a gator, definitely check them out. Peaks Equipment, uh, they have trekking poles, headlamps, and other products coming out. They're awesome guys. Uh, been working with them for over a year now. and. I am highly impressed with their products. They put a lot of time and effort into them. If you are interested in grabbing a pair, I do have a discount code that'll save you 10%. Code CHAG at checkout will save you guys some money. So definitely use that code, save a little money, grab yourself a solid pair of equipment. You're not gonna be disappointed in your purchase. Uh, a long lasting, durable piece of equipment right here.